Jones. Well, welcome to this very important day. It's wonderful that we're all gathering in this beautiful weather. <laughs> yes. 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 Do not come in our bay. We also have our dear friends, the monks from the Grafton Abby, and we also have Mother Bear from the Mashpee Nation, if you'd like to come over, Mother Bear. And we also have Owl from the Ramapo Muncie Lenape Nation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mother Bear is going to be opening. Get the trash. Get the pick of knowledge. Get the pick of knowledge. Get the pick of knowledge. Get Thank you for the uh, water, the oceans, the rivers, the ocean, uh, the, and the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Anashik, Isilamokwang, Anashik, Kwachi Manitou, Elamilie, Kukunaki, Wok Mbi, Wok Kashong, Wok. Tindau, Anishik, 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 Anishik. And as uh, Mother Bear here said, I said in the Muncie language, something very similar in the English. Thank you, our turn for the Creator who's, who created us from thought. Thank you, Great Spirit, for giving us today our, our, our Earth, Mother Earth, uh, waters, uh, wind, and, and fire. Thanks for the elements. And recognition that what we most need we already have but unfortunately when we dump into to the ocean like this we're, we're destroying that we cannot treat our waters like a septic system I mean I, I, I suppose it's only advanced civilization that fouls their own waters that they drink <laughs> right on and I guess well I won't I won't say anymore I'll just, I'll just start walking here <laughs> these two people are going to stop it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we're, we're, we're going to stop it and, and uh historian by background. I'm a, a, a early Plymouth County is what I wrote my dissertation on. And what you see in early Plymouth County, as you saw throughout the Atlantic world, not just on this side, on the other side, on the Caribbean, were crowds of people in the 18th century, common people, housewives, farmers, fishermen, some of the people we have here today, who would stand up in defense of their rights against unaccountable power, both political and economic. We're here because we collectively want to preserve our commons, as we have by these shores for 10,000 years. We are a broad coalition. We're from native people to fisher people uh, to everyday citizens. Uh, we know that our cause is just that dumping radiation of any kind, no matter how much in the bay is wrong, uh, we're going to stop it, and I believe we're going to prevail. I'm glad to mark with you all today. Thank you. Uh, yesterday, actually, was the 11th anniversary of the uh, Fukushima disaster, a human-made disaster. And we all need to know that we are very connected with what's happening in Japan. Even right now, the Japanese government is planning to dump radioactive water into their waters, too. And their people are protesting and gathering together to say, no, you're not damaging our earth. We're going to walk from here to Pilgrim, along um, the main road and on Warren Street to Rocky Hill Road. When we get there, we're going to have people to speak to um, the whole text and to the environment and to our world. Um, so we thank you for um, coming and please stay on the right side of the road.
voice from Fukushima. Our friends, Japanese friends, they start work from Fukushima March 5 and they keep working until Tokyo. So they are now working same with you and uh, they are also very frozen and rain every day. They are walking every day. So this is voice from Fukushima. First, first of all, I'd like to express my deep gratitude to all who gathered for the No More Fukushima Peace Walk and to everyone who joined us in their hearts. After the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident, Japanese government promoted the big goal of Fukushima reconstruction. They used large-scale taxes and the power of media to develop new programs with catchwords like dreams, connections, and hope. The rush to host the Olympic Games was part of this plan. Amid the unfolding of that cruel brute force, people continue to suffer silently, thinking they will interfere with the restoration of Fukushima. People think, I can only put up with it, or one person suffering is such a small thing, or I can't stand up, I'm a weakling, or I say something, it will be an imposition on those around me. Six men and women from the ages of 6 to 16 at the time of the accident filed a lawsuit against Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO. There were 222 people younger than 18 who lived in the Fukushima prefecture at the time of the accident who has since undergone thyroid surgery. This lawsuit was the first to question the cause and effect relationship between the reactor accident and the thyroid cancer. Because of the fear of discrimination, none has spoken about it, it seems. However, I'm trying to be brave enough to challenge the proceedings to save those worried about the future in the same circumstances. Their parents also continue to attack these actions since the nuclear accident while fighting together despite great suffering. Okay, thank you all for being here. We want to let you know that... Um, the Nuclear Decommissioning Citizens Advisory Panel meeting is March 28th at 6.30. It will be on Zoom or live and or live. Um, we ask that you all attend that meeting. That's where, dis where discussions are being held. Whole tech is at the table. And we need to show them that as a community, they are not to dump in our bay. Oh, my God. God bless you. Oh, my God.